So the story behind Crush is an interesting one. It has to deal with a lot of things from my past, and it has to also do some things that, you know, kind of challenge me creatively. So let's get started. The concept of Crush was, I took a page from my real life experiences. And what I did was, um, I went to a portion, a point in my life where I was very low. I was very low, low in self-esteem and confidence. And I really didn't really love myself, basically. Um, so I wanted to write about that because people people experience that every day where they feel like, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, no one's gonna love me. And that was a concept I really wanted to thrive upon. I wanted to thrive upon that concept of shy, being that shy, innocent kind of person. Um, I also took the concept of being in a one-sided love. And a one-sided love is you, you're in love with somebody, but they don't love you back. And that's the worst place, the worst place you want to be. You don't want to be in that section of life. You want to be 10 feet away, 100 feet away from that zone. That's kind of like worse than the friend zone, where it's like you feel that you know, this love is going to be true and all of a sudden you put all this effort into it and then bang, heartbroken. <laughs> and so that's kind of the concept behind it, but I also the concept behind, um, cause I, when I write, I write visually. So when I write my songs, I write with the, the notion, oh, this could be a music video. So in my mind, I wrote it as kind of like a teen drama, so like Degrassi. If for all my Degrassi fans, so Degrassi or um, X Men or um, Higher Education, very teen drama, very teen drama, very teen comedy, kind of like old school two thousands movies, um, like um, freshman year. Uh, so I I wanted to really bring nostalgia into the song. I really wanted to bring that nostalgia into the song, and so that's why. Uh, when you hear the song, it's very 2000s inspired. The lyrics are very 2000s inspired because that was basically the era that I pretty much grew up in was the 2000s. Um, the history behind the writing of Crush. So I wrote Crush in the fall, winter of 2017. I had taken a one year hiatus from writing, um, from doing music in general. And um, I took this break after releasing my first first single, which is titled Welcome to the Show. I released that in October of 2016. I was going through a lot of stuff, dealing with a lot of pressures. Um, when I recorded, when I was writing um, Crush, I had just canceled a whole album. I had a whole album done in 2016 and I canceled it because I wasn't in the right headspace <laughs> both creatively and personally. I, when I wrote most of the songs on the album, including Welcome to the Show, which was like one of the only songs I released as like a test run. When I released it, I had just lost my sister. My sister passed away in March 2016, and I had said, I'm just going to do this album for her, and this is going to be the best album ever, and I wasn't in the right headspace. I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I think at that time, I, I didn't know what I was doing overall, but I didn't know what I was doing. I was just giving, I was just giving lackluster stuff. And I stopped. I stopped because I got discouraged real easily. I got, I got discouraged real easily. I'm getting emotional. I got dis discouraged real easy. Um, 
I didn't like how I sounded. I didn't like what I was writing. I didn't like what I was talking about. It, it just, nothing was being cohesive. Nothing was blending together. Nothing was clicking. And when I came back, I took, as I said before, I wanted to make something that was me, that was legitly me, that was my story, what I wanted to say, how I wanted to say it, and that it was relatable to people. And so Crush was born. Um, the writing process of Crush was really different for me. Because usually when I write, I write with a notion of, okay, this is the lyrics. I'll probably go find the sound that will match the lyrics. But this time around, because I was just getting back into it, I did the reverse. What I would normally do is I'll write first, then find the sound. But this time I did the find the sound, then write. And so Crush was produced, the, well, the instrumental for Crush was produced by Contrabands. He also produced Pulse, the second single. So when I heard Crush, it had that 2000s Chris Brown, um, Kiss Kiss, Jason Derulo, uh, riding solo kind of vibe. And you know, that's, and that really made me feel nostalgic. And I think for a song like Crush, that's where it gets its, its, its power because it is a nostalgic song. It's you going back to that moment where you were at your lowest and seeing where you are now it's like oh my gosh look at the growth from where i was to where i am now writing crush was not hard <laughs> it took me three minutes no i'm not joking that took me literally three minutes i listened to it i had was singing in my office i was like put your hands up I wanna be better. Put your hands up. Surrender me now. Crush. I had already like, oh, this is brilliant, and grabbed the beat as quickly as possible. Um, started writing, and I did not record the song until June of 2018. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. But I didn't record until June of 2018. Um, but when I did record it, it was it was getting close to where I need to be, but it was still very, eh, still very, it needed extra, mm. So fast forward to, um, July, August, July, August of 2018. Um, my friends, Chanel and AJ, who were my managers at the time, they listened to the song, they loved the song, but they were like, okay, that chorus needs a little something, a little extra spicy, why she? So it took me a minute, it took me about three weeks. <laughs> uh, again, I said three minutes for the general song, but to add some stuff to it. Um, it took me about three weeks because I'm like, what do I need to add to this? I don't know what I need to add. But then I, um, I went through a couple of things. And what I wanted was I wanted, I wanted like a deep synth voice originally. So originally was like, I love you. I want you more driven above. I wanted like that chopped and screwed kind of sound. But what I got was just me normally talking and kind of doing a slight British accent. If people don't even catch on to that, that was a slight British accent I was doing in the song. And it worked. Um, it was mixed and mastered by um, Chad Dexter, who's done a lot of good, good stuff for Jason Derulo, Chris Brown. What's up, Chad? <laughs> and we released the song in on September 18th, 2018. And to me, Crush is one of 
my personal favorite songs because I think it was the first time I was being honest. I was being honest with everything I wanted to say. So Crush was uh, amazing. All right, fun facts. Fun facts about Crush. Here's some fun facts. Fun fact number one. I won a competition off of Crush before it was even recorded. So go to March of 2018. I had signed up to do a competition known as Coast to Coast Live in Columbia, South Carolina. Then I got up there, I analyzed the stage, and I just, just said, I'm just gonna exude whatever energy <laughs> whatever energy I got on stage. And so it came up with a win. I won the regional for Columbia, for Coast to Coast Live. And I got to go to Miami and I performed uh, in my, performed the final song in Miami, like the final version. The final version I performed in Miami in front of hundreds of people. I met my mentor now, uh, Jay Hatch. What's up, Jay? And Fun fact number two, Crush is the only single that I've ever had to be on the radio. Only single. It is the only single to be on the radio. It is the only single to be number one in independent radio worldwide. And it almost got picked for a TV show. Yeah. Honestly, Crush is really one of the the cornerstones of the upcoming album yeah and i'm so proud of myself I'm proud of the people who made it and proud of the people who inspired it um because without them this song will be nothing and without you guys the song would have gotten to where it is now so thank you so so much all right thank you guys for watching this first episode of the history of, and I hope I can do more of these, these short little videos about the different songs that I've done in the writing process. So if you would like, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so that you can get all, get more videos. Also, you can follow me on social media such as Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at David's World 1898, or you can go to www.davidworld.us and you can check me out and the music as well. See you next time. Peace, love, I'm out.